support. So the manufacturer may do some validation, uh, but it's not complete or is not following the correct standards. And therefore, then it gets rejected because, well, although you you think you've validated it, but you haven't because you haven't followed you know, the correct standards. Okay. Um, what, another problem is actually linked to the electrical safety. And I think this has become, we heard it many times from many manufacturers where they say, well, we submitted everything. Um, but then they refused the electrical safety because it was only done on one cleaning procedure and it wasn't done on multiple. So you haven't validated your, um, uh, your in a way, your process, you know, reprocessing kind of shelf life, you know, how many times you're going to redo that. Um, and, and I guess these two, I would say, definitely are the, the biggest two problems that we hear. Um, there are certain things related more to um, sometimes even the testing laboratories. So um, whether or not the, the laboratory who's done this test has some sort of um, 